Welcome dear friends. Today we are going to learn about history of profession of pharmacy in India. Pharmacy, it is made up of two words or we can say it is derived from two, uh, Greek word pharmakon which means drug or medicine. Pharmacy is nothing but it is a combination of health science and medical science which makes pharmacy. So we can see here we have to apply both the concept of health as well as chemical to get a product which is useful to maintain the health of the patient. This ensures health safety and efficacy of pharmaceutical drugs. Now let's take a look towards the symbols which describes the profession of pharmacy the international there are many international symbols the first one is the bowl of hygiene hygiene is the goddess of health it is one of the most ancient and important uh, symbols related to medicine in western countries it represents healing through medicines hygiene was a greek goddess of health hygiene and they associate wife or daughter of Asclepius. Asclepius' symbol is his rod with the snake twinned around it. Correspondingly, Hygiene's symbol is a cup or chalice with the snake twinned around itself. The next symbol is the mortar and pestle. Now this symbol is given because pharma, the person, the pharmacist, he is going to compound the uh, medication. Hence this type of symbol represents the profession of pharmacy. Next is superscript. Um, this represents the superscript which is written in the prescription. It is a symbol for God Jupiter. I mean Jupiter is considered to be the God of healing. In Latin, uh, superscript or x r x means recite take thou or you take now let's take a look towards history of profession of pharmacy in relation to pharmacy education in ancient india ayurveda was practiced charak and sushruta practiced it charak or uh, charak samhita is nothing but it is a compilation of theories on human body, etiology, diet, importance, diet and its importance, the hygiene, prevention and medical education etc. Whereas Sushruta Samhita is a work compilation of surgery and medications. These are the foundational texts of medical profession. Then, during the period of Ashoka, hospitalized activities involved treating diseases like piles, jaundice, TB, hemorrhage, etc. Here, Charak pattern was followed. Then, in 1500th century, Indian drugs and herbs influenced Europe. Many people studied our herbs as drugs. Cologios dos profils a drogas da indica is a book. It was written by Garcia the Aorta and she was a Portuguese physician from teacher. It involves the compilation of all the herbs which are used in India as medication. Then came the Britishers as traders in India and along with them they bought allopathy and western medicines. Medicines were brought from Europe but later on they were manufactured in India. London Pharmacopoeia was brought in Hindustani version in 1824. It described the control procedures of pharmaceutical activities in India and pushed back the Indian pharmacy. In 1840, Goa Medical College was established. Then in 1843, London Pharmacopoeia was translated to Hindi and Bengali. 
in 1864 bengal pharmacopoeia and general conspectus of medical plants were published but there was need for uniform pharmacopoeia throughout the country hence ej wang he set in motion the publication of pharmacopoeia of india on 4th of march 1864 in 1868 first pharmacopoeia of india was published under british monarchy in 1869 vernacular names of indian medical plants and herbs were combined and later on they were merged in pharmacopoeia in 1874 chemist and druggist diploma was started in india in 1932 madan mohan malviya he included pharmaceutical chemistry in banaras in the university that is bhu in 1935 ipa under the name united provinces of pharmaceutical association was registered it is a pharmaceutical society with education platform in 1937 to 38 ml shroff he is known as the father of indian pharmacy he started a regular degree course of b pharm at bhu it included the subjects like pharmaceutical chemistry cognosy and pharmaceutical economics later on a german human physiology and pharmacology were added 1939 uh, first issue of indian journal of pharmacy was published in 1940 the first graduate of pharmacy that is subhadra kumar patni he passed out then 1940 m pharm was started in bhu in 1941 a post of hospital pharmacist was established at kem hospital in mumbai in 1943 a first pg from bhu mr gorak prasad srivastava he passed in 1944 b pharm was started in punjab university lahore in 1949 d pharm was started at jalpaiguri west bengal in 1949 pca was established and as you all must be knowing that pca is the ultimate regulating body in india it regulates all the activities related to pharmacy profession then in 1953 first education regulation by pca was done in 1953 d pharm to be minimum qualification required to enter pharmacy profession was made a rule that a person he has to be minimum a uh, d pharm person first phd holder mr shiv vihari lal was passed in 1953 uh, he completed his phd in the pharmacology department of patna university in 1955 first edition of indian pharmacopoeia was published in 1960 aict announced syllabus for m pharm in 1966 second edition of ip was published in 1978 gate examination for m pharm became mandatory it was under under the directions of uh, nayudama committee in 1985 third edition of ip was published in 1991 national institute of pharmaceutical education and research that is naipur it was established at mohali mr c m call was the first director in 1996 fourth edition of ip was published in 2007 fifth edition was published on 10th of may 2010 farm deregulations of pharmacy act were notified in indian gazette so let's see history of profession of pharmacy in relation to industry uh the development of indian pharmaceutical industry is divided into four phases the first one is the pre 1970 phase the second one is 1970 to 1995 phase third is 1995 to 2005 phase and fourth is the post 2005 phase let's see each phase one by one the pre 1970 phase from 19 Uh, in 1930 bengal chemicals and pharmaceutical work was established in calcutta first indian company it was first indian company and is still working as one of the five government owned drug manufacturers in 1970 
to 1995, uh, there was introduction of high tariffs and limits on imported medicines. Also, asked foreign companies to reduce their shares. They, and due to this, they lost their interest. State-owned companies, with the help of WHO, produced cheap drugs. Um, and there was a very flexible patent legislation, legislation that used. Yet, during this period in India, product patent was not used and instead of that, process patent was used. By using pro uh, process patent, India would be able to manufacture n number of um, chemicals or the drugs we can say by different ways. Okay? And that is the only reason that why the generic market of India is um, one of the best market in the world. It is due to that law that we didn't go for product patent, we went for process patent. Indian Drugs and Pharmaceuticals Limited, that is IDPL, was responsible for speeding national pharmaceutical industries development. In 1980s, state-run companies began to decline as a result of insufficient cooperation from government and increasing bureaucracy. So it gave rise to private sector based companies and it started to emerge. In 1972, new patent act uh, was um, recognized. It only recognized process patents and no product patents. Hence domestic firms increased increasing the bulk drug production. In 1995 to 2005, um, during this period, the patent system of India was not so efficient. Many generics of very costly medicines were manufactured. This was cost efficient as no cost was involved in the research. Today, India has 2% higher share in pharma market for generic drugs. Hence, pharmacy of poor is frequently applied to India. In India, seven years protection was provided to manufacturing processes. Then India had to face disputes with foreign drug firms due to India's poor patent legislation. The Indian companies were forced to pay high license fees if they copied drugs before expiry of the patent. Then India signed the TRIPS agreement. Product patent was introduced in India. Sales in Indian subcontinent increased up to 9% per annum. Pharmaceutical industries of India are ranked at fourth among Asian countries. The tariffs and non-tariffs measures were also introduced that favored clinical research and new drug development in India. Exports also increased. Now, we will see what happened post-2005. In 2001, new product regime was introduced at WTO Doha round of negotiation. It passed that both product and process should be protected. On May 2020, on May 22, 2005, Patent Amendment Act, it abolished the previous process patents that was signed. Now let's see history of profession of pharmacy in relation to organization. In 1909, Bengal Excise Act was passed. In 1912, United Provinces passed the Act of Prevention of Adulteration. In 1940, Punjab Excise Act was passed. In 1919, Poisons Act was passed. In 1919, Bengal Food Adulteration Act was released. Bihar and Orissa Prevent, released the Act for Prevention of Adulteration. Madras Prevention of Adulteration Act was followed by it. On 3rd of November 1920, Calcutta Chemist and Druggist Association was formed. In 1926, it changed its name to Bengal Chemist and Druggist Association. In 1923, Pioneer Organization Qualified Pharmacist was formed in Chennai. On 11th of August 1930, committee was appointed under the chairmanship of late Colonel R. N. Chopra. Its report suggested that there is no recognized profession of pharmacy and compounders are filling the gaps. 
in 1930 dangerous drugs act and drug inquiry committee was formed in 1941 all india pharmaceutical conference was held at banaras in 1940 drugs bill was passed it regulates the imports manufacture sells and distribution of the drugs in 1945 drugs and cosmetics act and rules was passed pharmacy bill for standardizing pharmacy education um that is the main purpose in 1946 association of pharmaceutical teachers of india that is apti was formed so this was all about the history of profession of pharmacy thank you